Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be bringing you another aim guide, but this time for Rainbow Six Siege, and that's because I've been recently getting into Rainbow Six Siege again. I really want to make content for this game. Um, so I'm going to be explaining just a little bit what to do. It's very similar to an aim routine I show for Valorant, except this is very nice as well. So first thing is you really want to figure out which agent you play and which weapons you want to practice. So in Rainbow Six Siege, if you do not know, certain characters have uh, the same weapons. And so basically just think of it as you want to pick the character you're most likely to play in a competitive match. And so for me, I like to play Sledge and Ayana. Um, these two have different weapons. The L85A2 is a very common weapon <clears throat> for certain people. Um, but I'm just going to go with Sledge for right now. And so what we're doing, we're in the practice range, the training range in Rainbow Six Siege. And we're on the far right. So uh, basically there's three sections, you can use these two, I find them not as useful as this third section, which can really train the muscle memory within your uh, your arm and just your, oh, your overall aim. What we're going to do, there, there are, there's an option setting here, but I'm not going to talk about this too much. First, I'm just going to go and click begin and kind of show you guys what I do. Um, and we're basically just warming up our aim. So just try to get a high, just try to do your best and I'll explain more after this first round here. We're going to have about, I think a minute. You can probably go for the head here. Go ahead and weapon. I'm gonna reload. At the very end, you can swap to your pistol if you want. Here. I'm just gonna use my primary. Here. So I'm on time whenever I run out of ammo. If I do, I'm gonna swap my pistol real quick. You should do it in a game as well. Good not bad. Work, soldier, so you make me proud. That's gonna be my high score. Um, 84 is pretty good. If you guys it doesn't matter if you guys get a higher score than this or a lower score. What matters is you're trying to beat your own high score. And uh, what also matters is headshot, kill rate, and accuracy. So look at these. So if you're ma mainly if your accuracy is bad, you want to in increase that. But your headshot rate should also be high. Uh, in general, obviously you want to aim for the head. If you hit the body, it's okay. But generally you want to aim for the head because you're going to kill them quicker. Which makes all the difference in high ranks especially. Um, so guys, again, another thing that we can do here is, that I haven't really done yet is, you know, there's not usually a whole lot of strafing in this game because you can run and shoot, but something that you do need to do, kind of learn in this game a lot is, is uh, like, tilting like this. So basically how I like to think of it, and I'm going to do this one more time, there's a line going straight down the middle, and what I want, want you guys to do is whenever there's someone on the uh, left side, tilt to the left, uh, to the left, and there's someone on the right, tilt to the right. Now. Sometimes you might be tilting to the right to go to the left, if that makes sense. Like sometimes you might be actually going like this. But for the, the purposes of this training, just tilt to the left on, whenever there's an enemy on the left, and then tilt to the right when there's an enemy on the right. Just so that, because like whenever you're at a low rank, I feel like it's very common for people not to use this mechanics. And these are very important mechanics for Rainbow Six Siege, just, and it's also a mechanic that you don't find in a lot of other FPS games. So make sure that you're actually using these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this again. Want me to get in there? And this time use that. It's gonna be the same thing, but this time I'm gonna practice tilting. It's all in the middle, just do whatever you want. Same concept though. This is really, really gonna build up the muscle memory for tilting, which is really important. Here. I could have 
cough. Actually. Like that That's fine though. It's it's a little trickier to um to hit it, like to get as high of a score whenever you're tilting like this. But again, tilting like this is extremely important whenever you're in an actual game. Um, another thing, guys, if you're noticing, like, say there's an enemy, I don't know, like, say these headphones are an enemy, you notice that you're, you're trying to kill them and you're consistently, like, shooting past them or you're sh consistently shooting, like, before them. This is where you're going to want to consider hitting escape, going to your options menu, going to controls, and then changing your mouse sensitivity, right? Or if you're on controller, um, it's a little less of a problem on controller because you're not actually flicking, you're just kind of, it's, it's a little more smooth, if that makes sense. But on PC, which I'm assuming a lot of you are going to be on PC, Highly recommend tweaking your sensitivity a little bit, but the important part is you tweak your sensitivity and then you keep your sensitivity. Don't keep changing it whenever you're playing, um, mainly because on PC this is going to negatively influence the muscle memory and like basically how your brain remembers how to aim. So if you keep changing it and changing it, it's going to be confusing to your brain and it's going to be hard to like be consistent if that makes sense. So yeah guys, um, you can also mess around with the option setting. Hopefully this guide is helpful. I'm also going to be doing a deathmatch guide uh, for this game and some more videos. How you know, if you guys want some specific videos for R6, let me know in the comments. But I'll see you guys in the next one and peace.